All right, how's it going guys? We're here with the whole boxing team from Rick Ramos here at the heart of Pilsen bar brand new barbershop, 600 West Sermac. You guys gotta come check them out. Um, yeah, so we're here with Brandy, Josh, and Eddie. Everyone's fighting uh, July 7th, but uh, before we get to that, you know, uh, I wanna go take it back a little bit, let your fans uh, get to know you guys a little more. And like from, from the point where you guys picked up your first pair of gloves to where you're at now, your whole boxing journey, like what was like looking back, like damn, that was like a dope moment in my, my life. Um, so when I first started boxing, when I first came to the gym and coach allowed me to spar, I was thinking to myself, like, oh, you in shape, you got this, you got this. Like 30 seconds into my first sparring round, I'm like, oh my gosh, boxing is <laughs> totally different from what I'm from, like karate. So from there until now, I feel like I've improved a lot as far as my cardio um, and the combinations and stuff that coach has been teaching me for the last three years. Right. So. so you're like in shape, not, not boxing shape. I was in shape, not boxing <laughs> shape, yes. <laughs> Um, for me, I would say uh, I love New York, so I took my my dad uh, to the Barclays Center a few times to watch fights there. Um, and I remember, I think I went to go see a Danny Garcia fight, um, and I told him, like, man, I'm going to fight here. Like, I just felt like I was going to And then a year later, I ended up fighting at the Barclays Center. So it was pretty cool. That, that was probably the, the biggest um, the coolest moment I got so you. far. Yeah. Spoken into existence. You did. Yeah. You did. You know. Yeah. You it? For me, when I first started boxing, it was like I seen my cousin doing it, so it kind of like you know he's older than me, so it was kind of like a, I want to do what my big cousin's doing, you know. Right. And I went into the gym with him, and the coach asked me if I boxed before, and I knew my cousin boxed, so I like lied. I was like, yeah. <laughs> he was like throw a jab, and I threw like a, the goofiest right hand, and he was like, man, he had me doing footwork, just basic footwork for like two months before I got in the wow. ring to spar, just to see if I was like dedicated and stuff. So like, yeah, just fun times in the gym with my cousin. That's awesome, man. Uh, let's fast forward now. Uh, July 7th, to fight day. What do you What do you guys do? You wake up, like let the people know. They They don't know. They just see you at the, the at the going in the ring. But like, what What's the morning like? Like fight morning. Fight morning. You wake up. What, what's going on? So for me, fight morning, I wake up, do a little stretch, just like stretch my arms and shoulders out. I get like coffee, water, make sure I'm hydrating throughout the day, and then I just relax, like literally watch movies, just anything to relax my body until the, the time of the fight. Okay. Yeah, it's similar. It's a lot of, you know, relaxing downtime. Uh, last time, when I fought in April, I went to the movies. Oh, wow. Yeah, I went to watch Air. Yeah. So I stayed in the hotel near the venue, and then I went to watch Air, and then drove straight to the venue and fought. So, like, just stuff to relax and occupy your mind. I got not thinking of the fight the whole day. Yeah. I got you. Chill. Yeah, honestly, I'd, like, stay up as late as possible the night before, just so I could sleep in, because <laughs> yeah. I feel like if I sleep in more I'll have more energy like yeah. when I fight in right, case I right. fight late so I stay up all night watching movies just chilling and then I sleep until like probably like noon one o'clock just laying around if I wake up and I chill on my phone for a little bit then I like doze back off and like yeah try to just lay around so I can have more energy for when I fight that's what I feel like I, I would you uh brought up Brooklyn I went to a fight and um Laura's last fight, and he, um, <laughs> got a guest today. Special guest, <laughs> guest of honor. Yeah, and the guy was uh, running, he ran the, the bridge there and back, and he ended up moving. He got knocked out, and I was like, why are you running so much, you know? Yeah, the day of the fight. The like that morning. So that's why I, I'm like, what, is this normal? Like, I don't know, you know, like, I never. Some people fought. be like, oh, you wake up your legs, so go for a run in the morning and stuff, like, get the blood flowing, but. You can do that, the warm up, like. Before the fight, yeah, 20 minutes it, before the fight. It just made no sense to me, man. Like, I can't think of the dude that he's got the bald head with the mustache. I, I, oh, Sullivan? Yeah, Sullivan. It was Sullivan. And I'm like, and I was, and then what, what was funny is I took a picture on the bridge and he's in the background running. Like, I didn't even like notice till I like, looked at the pictures and I'm like, wait, that's it. Because I remember what he had on it. I was just like, you gotta be kidding me, man. So that's kind of good to let uh, everyone know how fight mornings go and stuff. Yeah. But uh, where, uh, where can they get tickets? and stuff and so 
they uh, let them know so less than two weeks away. Um, I have a link all over my social media, my Instagram, B Robinson Boxing, my Twitter at Flash 5 Facebook, Brandy Nicole. You can get tickets um, from the links in my bio, or and I also have them on hand as well. Yeah, same thing. Uh, Joshua Hernandez on uh, social media uh, with the H, so J-O-S-H-U-A-H. Um, and then, yeah, hit me up for tickets there, and I have a link as well. Yeah, just uh, Eddie Olivares is on Instagram. Just DM me, and I'll get you right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'll, I'll post uh, your links on the, on the bio when I put them up. So I appreciate your time, man, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you.